Okay, good morning there, uh, friends and subscribers. Today's uh, video is going to be a little bit different. This is a uh, 2012 Mahindra Max 28XL, and this is uh, how I fixed for the very first time a no start, no cold start on my little Mahindra uh, Mitsubishi diesel engine. I'll be back here in a minute, or actually, I guess I could walk around and show you the basics now. Normally when you start this vehicle, and I'll take you under the hood here in a moment, there's a very simple dash layout. There are no computers on this tractor. It's a 2012. No def fluid, no computers. It's a mechanical fuel injection. It does have a pre-chamber engine, which I'll get into that in a minute, with glow plugs. When you turn the key on, I don't know if you can see that, that little light turns yellow. This ticking in the background, it has a low pressure fuel pump. That's in case you're dumb enough to run it out of fuel, that aids in it starting it up again without having to bleed the injectors. Okay, all that's working. And yesterday, for the very first time, it did not start. Now I'm going to go set up the camera, open the hood, show you the tests I made, and how I fixed it. I'll be back. All right, I'm up under the hood. I've got the uh, side panel off. I kind of moved the air cleaner up out of the way. What I'm going to try to show you right here, see this line? That's uh, your hot wire, 12 volt in. That little nut right there holds the hot wire, or the power wire, to the bus bar. And I don't know how good this is coming out. These little guys at the tip of the screwdriver, there's three of them, it's three cylinder engine, those are your glow plugs. Now yesterday, uh, the dash, the little light I showed you, the yellow light, that was coming on and off, the fuel pump was turning on and off, the fuses are all in here, I checked all these fuses, these were all good, the relays were good, this little uh, fuel pump was working. I finally took my meter. And I hooked my meter to the negative battery to the feed wire here, the hot wire. And I had almost 12 volts, which uh, gave me the immediate suspicion I had a bad contact. Because these little glow plugs are like a little teeny heating element at the inside. They're tiny. They look like a little red coil, like a heater lights up. They sit inside the pre-chamber, which is like a golf ball shaped sphere cast inside the cylinder head and those are called pre-chambers this here are your, your injectors these lines that injector fires at the base of the glow plug which is glowing red under a cold start condition and that begins the ignition cycle and when these engines are cold they won't start without the glow plugs and whatever you do Never ever ever use starting fluid either on a glow plug diesel engine, which is most engines today, except for the big engines and big industrial engines or an engine like in my my Dodge over here that's got the 6BT Cummins, that's got a mechanical fuel injection pump, no computers on that truck at all. It's all old school mechanical. You run that out of fuel, you're having a bad day, you gotta crack the injectors bleed the fluid out of it, get the diesel fuel coming back through the system, tighten it down, and eventually it'll start. Anyway, that vehicle, Cummins engine, does not have glow plugs. It's a direct injection. It uses a heater grid, which is a whole other story, which we're not going to get into because we're talking about a Mitsubishi diesel today. This is a pre-chamber with glow plug diesel engine. And trust me, you do not want to put starting fluid in here. Bad things will happen unless you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere and you, you got starting fluid on, on hand and you need to get home. I don't even have any starting fluid here. I don't use it. You need to check your uh, glow plugs. So I cleaned a little line, the power feed line here, and tightened it back down, turned on the switch. And all of a sudden, which I can show you, my readings went down to a little over 10 volts.
And of course now I got no contact. A 10.4. That's basically because that's see it just shut off. That's basically a dead short. Warm up the uh, the wire on the glow plugs. So make a long story short, I'm gonna disconnect this. And I'll show you the end result of what happened. And this is the end result of what happened. Just by doing some basic rundowns. That little yellow light comes on. And I'm gonna have to put pressure on the seat so it thinks I'm sitting on it. There you go, just that easy. So anybody who's got a free admissions, non-computerized diesel, like in the, I think 2012 down, I think for most the most tractors don't have that on it. I'm not sure, don't hold me to that. But basically if you've got fuel and your starter spinning, and if you have a glow plug engine, which almost all of them do, yet your glow plugs aren't working if it's not starting when it's cold. Once these are warm, they fire right up, no problem. And once again, don't use any ether on these, you'll regret it. You cause all kinds of damage in these engines with starting fluid, don't use it. So that's how easy it was to fix this. And again, this is a non-computer controlled uh, tractor. I don't own anything with computers on it. I don't work on stuff with computers. If you want to see how to go do that stuff, go over to my friend Wyatt One Able's channel. That guy's a smart man. He's got all the technology. He knows what he's doing. He's good on the computer stuff. Me, I'm old school. So that's my tip. That's how I fixed it. If you got an old tractor and your old tractor's running glow plugs and it won't start when it's cold, check your relays, check your fuses, check your uh, wires going to your glow plugs. Make sure you got juice there. It's extremely doubtful all your glow plugs are going to go at once. This thing has never failed to start. So all of that together led me to think it was something pretty simple like that loose wire. So I hope this helps somebody, and uh, thanks for watching. That's it. I'm gone.